Nvidia and all of their retailers are getting desperate. Look at this. I'm just going to come out right out and show you guys. 3090 Ti for $13.99. That would be pretty cheap, right? Even if it was just a 3090 Ti. This is, after all, an EVGA for the Win 3. This one was really $19.99, and it just came out a few months ago, right at the beginning of the year. But you're not only going to get the GPU for $13.99, you're going to get an EVGA 1600-watt power supply, and not any power supply. This is a platinum one, one that I've used myself. It's an excellent power supply. And just to make it a little sweeter you also get a t-shirt and a couple of other items like an xbox game pass but 13.99 for a 3090 ti this isn't even a regular 3090 you see how absolutely desperate that they're getting this same type of bundle that's being sold at anto online was being sold last year before the 3090 ti came out in a much worse version for as much as three thousand dollars or nearly three thousand dollars that would usually come with a 3090 for the one three it would come with a much worse power supply maybe like an 850 watt or something like that not even platinum maybe like a gold 850 watt power supply and maybe like a keyboard that you didn't really want and a mouse you didn't really want this one not only comes with a 3090 ti which is the best gpu out at least for now but also a pretty awesome power supply i'm not saying you should buy this but if i saw this and i was looking for a gpu and i didn't have a 3090 ti that's actually a pretty good price if you figure that power supply when you add in the pricing together with the gpu you're really getting that gpu for considerably less maybe closer to like a thousand or eleven hundred dollars which is pretty incredible for a 3090 ti still even seeing deals like this and yes i do believe that one probably sold out pretty quickly just because even on the cusp of the release of the rtx 4000 gpus that's still a pretty good price i mean even if you don't need the power supply that one is pretty easy to sell on ebay for you know a pretty decent amount it's definitely a great power supply coupled with this gpu so i still say that for the most part you definitely shouldn't buy a GPU now. RTX 4000 is really going to be announced and coming out at any moment now. We are already in August. You can imagine that they should announce it hopefully by September. Um, in the last video, we kind of spoke about a potential October release date. Priced pretty good is a Windows CD key. Today's video sponsor is going to be VIP-CDKDeals.com. Very simple process. You can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key. And remember to use code CC20 for a nice discount and of course the 4090 is going to be the first one that's coming out if these retailers are selling these 3090 ti's for as low as 1399 even considering some bundled items you can bet that the 4090 they're trying to make some space there for that price now i don't know if nvidia is going to go back to the original 3090 msrp of 1499 you would think that would make sense in the current climate that's why maybe they're pushing down the 3090 ti after all they tried 1999 for the 3090 Ti, but they failed pretty spectacularly. Even earlier on in the year, before the GPU started really crashing in terms of its prices, nobody was really buying that 3090 Ti anyway, and we saw some pretty early discounts down to maybe 1799. For example, if you were like a total tech member at Best Buy, I know that's a little bit of a funny program, but they did give some discounts here and there. So now, if they're pushing the 3090 Ti, which it's already been under $1,500, if they're pushing it to $1,399 and they're willing to bundle these pretty expensive items like a 1600 watt power supply, that means that they really need to make room for that $4,090. Maybe it could be $1,499. I mean, that's really the pricing that I would like to see it at. I know it's still expensive, but of course, it'd be nice if it was $999 or $1,299. But we know NVIDIA is not going to go that low, even considering they've already priced even the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte. That was over $1,200 already. Not to mention the 3080 Ti was already $1,200 MSRP. So I don't think they're going to go near that. They'd rather probably sell less of these 4090s rather than lower the price that much. But $1,500 at $1,499, I do think is a possibility, especially considering how aggressively they're pushing down the price of the 3090 Ti. Now, if they do release it at $1,999, I mean, maybe, and I'm sure it's still going to sell okay just because it's a 4090. It's going to be the newest technology. Um, as far as the specs that we've seen so far, certainly it seems like it's going to be very, very capable. It's going to be probably a significant amount faster than the RTX 3090. And even if you consider the 
3090 Ti as a little stopgap there. Um, it does seem like maybe in ray tracing and things like that should be a pretty decent bump. After all, NVIDIA is going to have to impress with its technology because if it turns out to be that the RTX 4090 is not really a very impressive GPU and it comes out at 1999, well, that's a pretty good recipe for disaster because everybody is going to run out and buy a 3090 Ti, uh, probably under a thousand dollars at that point by the time the 4090 comes out just because why would you spend a considerable amount of money on a 4090 like 1999 if the performance isn't absolutely you know amazing like twice as good at least or or a very high percentage so they're gonna have to deliver on that even though the 3090 ti and 3090 are technically gonna be you know last generation they're still gonna perform really up there with maybe like at least a 4070 or something like that maybe close to a 4080 and a more important key factor they're gonna be a lot of them on the market 3090 ti's they don't seem like a good idea now um, even when they're 1399 it's still a little sketchy maybe with this bundle it's actually not a bad price i would say if you can get it with that bundle and find that in stock that's a pretty decent price i mean it could really stagnate around that for the next year or two even with the new generation coming out but most likely it's still going to go lower in the future it's really not a bad gpu for that price if the rtx 4000 is way too expensive in the future we may actually see a rise in popularity of the 3090 and the 3090 Ti just because they're the fastest GPU of the current generation and people really didn't like their pricing. Of course, the 3090 did have some VRAM issues with thermal throttling and getting a little bit too hot, which mostly seems to have been fixed in the 3090 Ti. So basically the only thing that people don't like about that GPU is really its very high price, which it's kind of being crushed down very rapidly by not only the current economic situation that's reducing the price of everything, even like these really expensive GPUs, but the eminent release of next generation RTX 4000, making this GPU potentially in the future being a very good buy. If you can find this for well under $1,000, even into the RTX 4000 generation, and let's say if by then we kind of can stabilize what this performance is at compared to like a 4070 or 4080, may make some sense. Of course, if a 4070 comes out and it's $600 and it absolutely, you know, beats the 3090 Ti or at least matches it in gaming for considerably cheaper, the only thing you're going to have there left, probably on the 3090 Ti side, will be the 24 gigabytes of VRAM. I really don't think that the RTX 4070 or even 4080 are going to have anywhere near that. They're probably going to top out at most maybe 16 gigabytes of VRAM or something like that. Of course, the 4090, we can fully expect to have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but that's also going to be more expensive that's going to be a big differentiating factor between a 3090 ti and something like a 4070 even if they perform similarly in traditional rasterization maybe even in ray tracing it's very possible that the 3090 ti could still maintain a pretty big advantage with its vram if your particular use case calls for that let's say in maybe content creation or 3d rendering or maybe even some games at like 4k and in the future 8k may start to eat up that vram pretty rapidly but for most cases, if uh, 4070 gets 12 to 16 gigabytes of VRAM, that's going to be pretty much enough even for intense 4K gaming. But that's one thing to keep in mind. As fast as a 4070 may be, it may not typically match a 3090 Ti with its VRAM. But of course, the pricing of the 3090 Ti is going to be a very big deal. If it continues to go down at the rate that it's going down now, we may actually see it for pretty close to the price of an RTX 470. Now, we did see this before with the 2080 Ti when the RTX 3070 was announced at $499. NVIDIA boasted that it was going to have performance to equal or beat the 2080 Ti, which was that current flagship at the time. And it was about $1,200 for that 2080 Ti. Immediately, people's reaction before, of course, the GPU came out, they said that they were going to sell their 2080 Ti. The price quickly went down on eBay, maybe to like $500. And people were looking forward to the 3070, which was supposed to sort of beat that performance for you know a little bit cheaper or at least the same price as you could sell at the time the 2080 ti on the used market what actually ended up happening was we had the gpu shortage out of nowhere and that 3070 and 2080 ti all jumped up in price a considerable amount so that type of competition never really came to fruition because the 2080 ti quickly went right back up to its 1200 msrp just because of the mining craze 
and everything that was happening. So keep that in mind. Something similar could happen between the 3090 Ti and maybe like a 4070. People could hype up the 4070 like it's going to destroy the RTX 3090 Ti. While even it may on paper, who knows what the releases are going to be like. And if we accidentally sort of bump into another GPU shortage by a myriad of reasons that can happen, who knows? There's a million things going on in the world now that could actually cause that. We could very well see the 3090 Ti actually stay at this price and go up. That's a scenario that normally wouldn't happen in a regular healthy market because you would expect it to continue going down when the new generation comes in. But we've seen a lot of surprises in the past that does not make this a normal healthy market. So keep that in mind as a possibility. All right, guys, so let me know what you think. Is this a really cheap price or do you think it's going down even further? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.